Hi, dear crypto investors. A wallet with one Bitcoin and a model with the text of its Genesis block never reached the moon. The mission was arranged by the cryptocurrency exchange BitMEX as a tribute to the developer of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto. However, the Peregrine a spacecraft launched by the American company Astrobotic was only able to rise to 500,000 kilometers. Then it was burned in the Earth's atmosphere due to problems with fuel. Curiously, the failed flight of the Luna model in space uh, coincided with a slump in the price of Bitcoin. One of the reasons behind the weakness in the flagship crypto is disappointment of investors following the launch of Bitcoin spot ETFs. The crypto community waited for the approval of this exchange instrument for 13 years. No wonder the crypto market was on a roller coaster for the whole of uh, 2023. The market was mostly agitated after some fake news. In practice, the highly anticipated real news soothed investors' nerves. The launch of the cherished instrument was an excuse for traders to, to fix profits. So the famous market rule worked out well, sell the rumor, buy the fact. According to Bloomberg estimates, 10 crypto funds attracted $1.1 billion in January. The largest trading volume of the new instrument was recorded on the first day. Since its debut, the trading volume shrank twice. What a nuisance for crypto fans. The first bearish wave for Bitcoin in light of the launch of spot Bitcoin TFs worsened negative sentiment and defied expectations. Experts predicted that the instrument would entice large investors. Their funds should have bolstered growth of the whole crypto market, shattered dreams or averted optimism from Bitcoin. The greed and fear index for the crypto market tumbled to 48 points, the lowest level in the last 100 days. Being in the neutral zone indicates fading interest of potential investors in the cryptocurrency. The index slumped at the time when Bitcoin sank below $40,000. Since the launch of spot Bitcoin DFs in the US, its price plunged by more than 20%. In the last seven days, the most popular token moved down from 42,873 to 38,650. The lowest value was recorded on Tuesday, January 23rd. However, Bitcoin regained its footing on Wednesday night and rebounded to $40,000. Don't forget that cryptocurrencies are losing ground while the stock market is gaining momentum. Besides, traders are shifting their focus towards more gainful instruments due to the Fed's monetary tightening and the fact of stepping up supervision over digital assets. Last week, investors withdrew more than $21 million from crypto funds. Investors could have allocated their funds, for example, to high-tech stocks. Grayscale and FTX, the crypto exchange which collapsed in November 2022, could also be to blame for the decline in Bitcoin's price. Both companies rushed to flood the market with their Bitcoin reserves. FTX has to pay off debts. Grayscale has to transfer its Bitcoin trust into spot exchange traded instrument. Therefore, the token is now trading below the spot area of around $41,000, which lasted 48 days. Bitcoin's fall below $40,000 could uh, cost traders to $110 million. Even the weather this week was against the flagship crypto. Severe frost in Texas disrupted mining hardware. As a result, the overall computing power of the Bitcoin blockchain took a hit and the hash rate plummeted by 34%. Miners' rewards also went down. Uh, BitMEX co-founder Arthur Hayes warns about further decline in the main cryptocurrency. He believes the token will trade as low as $35,000 at the end of March. On the back of stubborn inflation, the price could even plunge to $30,000. But in the long term, he suggests the bullish scenario. Crypto trading expert Michael Van de Popper defied, uh, defined the level below $40,000 
as a good opportunity. He reckons that Bitcoin has collected liquidity and approached the local bottom. Orbit Markets uh, co-founder Carolyn Moran told uh, Bloomberg that Bitcoin needs to consolidate above 40,000 in the near future, otherwise its price risks falling to 38,000. Bitfinex analysts uh, believe that Bitcoin could fall even lower. Their more pessimistic scenario assumes that the main crypto will reach the bottom only at the level of $36,000. Over the past seven days, Bitcoin has dropped by 7%. The second largest cryptocurrency suffered the outflow of tokens worth more than $14 million. Ether has tumbled by almost 13% in the last seven days. The price went down from $2,545 to $2,277. Tests of the new project also failed. On January 17th, network developers launched the Demcon hard fork on their girly testnet. However, the update could not be completed due to a valid data synchronization error. On the other hand, Ether notched another positive achievement. At the moment, 24% of all coins in the Ethereum blockchain are staked. This means, firstly, that they are not available for immediate selling. They also confirm that ecosystem participants trust the project and believe in its future. Importantly, Ether rebounded to the levels from where it began its growth on January 10th. Its price consolidated yesterday below the landmark level of $2,300. However, the daily time frame revealed an uptrend on Wednesday. By the way, for the last 95 days, Ether has been moving inside an ascending channel. Analysts remain optimistic about its continuation, especially after Ether not only met the challenge of a pullback below 2000 on Tuesday, but stayed afloat and recovered to $2,199 on Wednesday. Let's discuss the native token of Ripple Labs. Its technical ascending support has been valid for much longer, almost 400 days since the beginning of 2023. In the first half of a year, uh, Ripple developed from uh, 33 cents to 75. All consequent uh, bounces from the spot level have been modest. The highest price in the last seven days was recorded at the beginning. On Thursday, January 18th, Ripple traded at about 57 cents. Yesterday, it consolidated at around 51 cents. On January 23rd, the token briefly sank below 50 cents. All in all, Ripple logged a weekly loss of 6%. Amid the overall decline in the crypto market, the token is running a risk of going lower to the nearest technical support at 34 cents. Other popular altcoins, including Cardano, Avalanche and Dogecoin, did not avoid losses. Solana surged by 348.5% in 2023. Its, bot its boom occurred in December last year. For a brief time, Solana was ranked fourth in terms of market capitalization. The price even spiked to $120. For comparison, Solana closed at $87 yesterday. Last week, the token fell from an upward correction at $101 to a breakout of the critical support at $80. As a result, the weekly loss was almost 8%. The bears are not going to give up. Like other altcoins, Solana was hurt by the outflow of capital. Its market value shrank by $8.5 million. The catalyst for the rotation of capital was certainly the launch of spot Bitcoin TFs. At present, Solana has declined in the ranking to the fifth place. It considered to Binance backed by the Binance chain ecosystem. InstaForex has been keeping close tabs on developments in the crypto market. Subscribe to our InstaForex TV channel and comment on our videos. Ask any questions, our experts are always ready for any feedback. Our crypto review is over. See you in a week on February 1st.